Welcome to the Anachronic College of Comic Book Knowledge. Why does everybody have a hard time with that? It's alliteration. It's alliteration, everybody. Welcome, guys. Thanks for being here. And we have our three professors today because this topic is a really difficult topic, Wolverine. So we have Professor Chuck Hensey. How are you, Professor? Doing great. <laughs> That's good. Glad to have you here. That knowledge is always, uh, always important. And we have Professor Gary B., the casual comic guy. Professor Gary, how are you? I'm doing well. My, my second night in a row with uh, Phil Tastic. Wow. You know, you guys are going steady now. You guys are going steady. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Professor and Doctor of Comicsology, Dr. Doug Bratton. Welcome, Dr. Bratton. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on. This is going to be fun. Okay. And our applicant, uh, oh, he's knocking on the door. Here he is. And here's our applicant, Phil of Fantastic <laughs> Comics. How are you, Phil? Hey, everybody. So we're glad to have you. So you're applying for admission to the Anachronic College of Comic Book Knowledge. That's right. I can't uh, wait to put uh, this on my LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you do that. It's important. <laughs> so, uh, you know, so uh, let's have you start off before we get to the uh, chat. Let me make you big, so to speak. And why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, your YouTube or Insta, you know, type of stuff. And then we'll go to the chat and then we'll come back and talk about your uh, charity. Okay. Well, who wants me to talk about myself, honey? Uh, my wife's over That's here. enough. Not, that's enough time yeah. about yourself. Mm -hmm. that's it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm a Gemini. I enjoy long walks on the beach. Uh, good book. <laughs> this is not a dating app, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I, uh, yeah, I've been collecting comics since I was about 13, 14 years old. I'll be 45 mm -hmm. this year. So you do the math. Um, X-Men and, you know, specifically Wolverine has probably been one of my longest running comic book uh, passions, if you will. Okay. And uh, yeah, I mean, look, if you tune into my channel, Fantastic Comics and Art, you, you kind of see I, uh, I don't take things a little, I think, too seriously. Um, I don't uh, go hardcore as far as getting all the FOMO issues and that kind of stuff, but uh, I like to, you know, really above all have fun doing it and it's something I could share with my wife and children, which they can read. Very good. Very good. <laughs> all right. Before we get into the charity and, uh, and the topic is Wolverine, we already told everybody about that. Let's take a look and see who's joined us, at least in the beginning here, and we'll bring people in as we go along. Of course, First, I think he did this about five hours before the show began. We have Las Cruces. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here. We have the wonderful Tina Karens. And Tina, thank you for showing up. We appreciate you as always. Blue Ranch Power. We have the man from the mm -hmm. north, Steve White. <laughs> Hi, Steve. The voice. Steve, the voice is also getting over a cold, you know? So uh, the voice is deeper than usual, uh, what he <laughs> told me. So it's very sexy, very <clears throat> sexy. We have Sith Lord Lee Spintix. Good to see you. Thank you for showing up. We appreciate it um, very much. So we have my DC bro, Chris Bigger. Chris, thank you for showing up today. Uh, let's see if we have anybody else here. Paul, Psychedelic Comics. Good evening to you, my friend. All right, let's see. Shop. Now, Shop is the Shopiverse is fantastic. Um, I was I was Green Arrow in his first Shopiverse thing, but I just. Um, um, commissioned one of his covers and uh, I'm going to be a booster gold on uh, one of the booster gold uh, covers. He did a fantastic job on it. He's really, really, really talented. So if you're interested, you know, go to his IG page and you can order one. You send them what the comic book you want them to, to put you in and, you know, with the character, I saw some that were really, really good. I mean, really good ones. So be a lot, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So let's see anybody else chop. Evening, my friend. Evening. Uh, let's see. Anybody else? We don't want to miss anybody in the beginning. Ah, Trev, the shipping guru, who is going to be on next month. He's applying for uh, the comic, the anachronic comic. No, what is it? Com see, I forgot. <laughs> see, it's an iteration. <laughs> Just joking. Because people, I see people saying, I'm going to be on what? And I think Trev did get it right. The anachronic college of comic book knowledge. All right. What else? We got Steve already, Chris. I think we might, we might have every bull of the early uh, risers here. Let's see. Did I miss it? Yep. HAQ. Thank you for coming, my friend. 
anybody else? I think that's it. I think we've caught up. All right. Fantastic. So, Phil, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, the charity that you'll be playing for? And I'll bring it up. I'll bring the website up. Okay. The name of the charity is NAMI. Uh, it is the National Alliance of Mental Illness. Uh, one of my very good friends, uh, Sam, is involved with this charity. That's how I learned about it. Uh, he specifically volunteers with the Middlesex County uh, uh, chapter, Middlesex County, New Jersey. Uh, what NAMI does is provides information to families, caregivers, and persons with mental illness through things like support groups, resources, and education. Their motto is, you are not alone. Uh, so if you or someone in your family suffers from major depression, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, OCD, or any other mental illness, I encourage you, encourage you to reach out to NAMI.org. Fantastic. So it sounds like a really worthwhile uh, organization. So, Phil, you know the way this works. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there's going to be five questions, right? Uh, the professors will all take a turn at the questions. Uh, Professor uh, Dr. Doug Bratton will be starting it off. Um, the question will be presented. You'll have an opportunity to provide a response. Um, if you don't, if you think you need help, you have one lifeline where you can go to the chat and the chat can help you out. Can you see the chat? I can't see the chat. Let me see if oh, I that's have gonna a... Be a problem with your lifeline. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. We, we'll help lifeline. you more. <laughs> we'll, we, we could read some of the uh, chat suggestions to you. Okay. There we, we go. We'll make it multiple now, choice. Yeah. So NAMI will get $5 for every one of the five questions you get right. But if you get all five right, it's doubled to $50 and you will get a, you will become a doctor of comicsology, which I'm and sure I, that's really the reason you're here. Of course. So, and I'll um, be matching that too, of course. <laughs> oh, you'll be matching the two? Fantastic. Yep, match. Great. Hey, Jackson. Fantastic. I love when that happens. Uh, that's mm -hmm. really fantastic. So you're playing potentially for $100 going to NAMI, right? Mm -hmm. so that's pretty cool. All right. Uh, are we ready? I'm ready. Okay. Professor Doug, you're going to be up first. Let me get uh, us together like this. And let's All bring right. up the first one. All right, Phil. Your, uh, your first question here. What is the name of the metal that coats Wolverine's bones and claws? Oof. Uh, adamantium. And let's see if oh. you got the right answer. And you are correct. Yay. Excellent. I got it right. <laughs> well done. Well done. So you got $5. Isn't that easy? How easy can this be? Right? One there down, go. four to go. <laughs> All right, which, which professor has number two? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, wait a minute, let's say hello to Everything Wicked. That's Gary. Gary. Yeah. Gary, are you is your mic working? Oh, yeah, I, I had to unmute, so I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to make sure. Just in case I, I cough or sneeze, I've had it on mute. I, I'm That's sitting here yeah. answering you and... <laughs> All right, Professor Gary will be providing you with the second question. So let's get it up. All right, Phil, question two. What is the name of the secret military project that turned Logan into Wolverine? Weapon X. Correct. And a little bit of more information on that is Weapon X was a code name for a secret U.S. government project intended to deliberately induce superpowers for military purposes, it was the tenth installment of the Weapon Plus program. In the case mm -hmm. of Weapon X, the mechanism was genetic engineering, specifically creating mutations in normal humans, enhancing pre-existing mutations. The program was designed to replicate the process of Project Rebirth or Weapon One, which gave birth to Captain America. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's uh, ten dollars you've got. And uh, let's go to number three. I think I'm going to take care of this one. And you'll you'll know why when you see uh, the question. <laughs> All right, question number three. How tall is Wolverine? Oh, you got to get me with a technical one. Uh... <laughs> well, take a look at the picture. 
Check out the chat. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't see the chat. Um, oh, I'm trying to remember. I feel like him and I might be the same height, or he might. Well, be Well, someone bit is suggesting smaller. five four, which is not correct. No, I know that one's not right. It's close, but <laughs> it's close. Uh -huh. Any other help from the chat? Five oh, six Trev. is correct. Everything wicked. Trev's looking Trev, like Trev's uh, yeah. pretty knowledgeable. You might want to take. He's suggesting five foot three. No, no. Yes, say it's five foot three. <laughs> say it's five foot. Three. It's five foot three. <laughs> okay, let's see if five foot three is correct. Why isn't it? There it goes. <laughs> Yes. Wow. Five foot okay. three I'm inches. Cool. Hey. I'm taller than Wolverine. Well, Bing and the funny sleeping. thing about it is, is that uh, you Jackman is six foot three. <laughs> and that's almost and why he, he didn't get the, yeah. He almost lost that uh, that job because he was too tall. You know, the original mm. people were going to that they were considering were a lot shorter. I think he was like number four, five, or six in terms of the consideration uh, for uh, for Wolverine, which is kind of interesting. So they did ask yeah. me, but I told them I was busy that day. <laughs> well, thanks, Major Daniel. Thomas, how are you doing? Uh, 311. So, yeah. yeah, I hear you. That's, <laughs> That's five three. Yeah. Uh, shop <laughs> thought it was five two. Jackson Red Cook five two. Steve White says he's short and thought it was five one. Basically, five three. And uh, let's see, what does Chris say? Danny DeVito should have been. <laughs> <laughs> well. Yeah, that was yeah. an excellent yeah. casting. <laughs> you know, look, Deadpool 3, I've made the prediction that you're going to see, among other things, Wolverines from other universes. So I think it's time to put in the DeVito Wolverine. That would have been, that would be fantastic. I think I would, I would go see the movie only for that, you know. <laughs> I, I'm here with Daniel Radcliffe. Yes, I would love <laughs> to see Daniel Radcliffe doing it just for fun. That, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, his I also comes thought. Up a lot. I also thought Deadpool 3 would have been funny if it were a musical up until they said, oh, no, the Harley movie is going to be a musical. But, Oof. yeah. Yeah, we'll see how that works out. I bet you that's going to be better than people think, though. But anyway, I that's agree. Story. I, I think so. they're going to find a smart way to bring in the music. Now, that's an interesting thing, Everything Wicked. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, question number four. Is that you, Chuck? That's me. All right, let's put it up. All right. So, Phil, this was the most guarded secret in, in comics history for a long time. What is Wolverine's birth name? Oh, I think we have the wrong oh, question. No. Up yeah, on you screen. have the wrong one. Up. You? Oh, we got the wrong one. I'm sorry. Excuse me. That's not oh, you, I'm Chuck. Sorry. Is that the <laughs> That's some technical difficulty. That's the fifth question. Okay, okay well, sorry. You go around ahead then, Doug. That's fine. All right, Maybe let's put the chance to move the right one up there then. Even though it says five, this is four. Okay. All right. So they never told us this for the longest time, Phil, but they finally revealed to us what's his birth name? James Howlett. That's correct. Wow. Good. Let's put that up there. Now, now, Phil, what did you think of the origin story, the, the origin miniseries for this? I loved it. It was one of those stories that actually pulled me back into comics after a, a brief hiatus. And fun fact, my wife does not like the X-Men, but uh, Origin was one of the first books. I said, oh, maybe you might like this. And it is the Wolverine story that she loves. Awesome. That's great. Very cool. Yeah. Now, this is great. The Anachronic, although you spelled it wrong, Steve. <laughs> Anachronic <laughs> Comics, the musical. I like that. Well, you know, we'll have I to thought, work with that uh, with Bruno, maybe make a nice uh, little musical. Part of the reason I thought that Deadpool three may be a musical because I figured the only way to get Hugh Jackman back as Wolverine would be like, all right, you're allowed to sing and dance, whatever you want to do. Right. <laughs> That's right. Good one. Good I one. think it'd be great to see him, you know, break break into it, break into a waltz with Deadpool, just you in the middle of a battle. I, I, that would be that that would it be could right happen. On par. Yeah, it could. It it could. You get Taylor Swift in the oh, background. Before, before we get to number <laughs> No, go ahead. Go ahead. You have Taylor Swift in the I'm background sorry, Chuck, playing I... the disco music. You know, we're all set. Yeah. yeah. 
So, uh, so one thing about this is, uh, I mean, this show usually goes pretty quickly and that's great, but one thing to consider is the fact that if you want to be part of the show, all you have to do is go and just, you could just send me a DM and Instagram and ask me, uh, there's a form which appears pretty much in all of my descriptions that you can click on and fill out, but, you know, send me a DM, tell me that you want to be part of this thing. Uh, I need to know who your, uh, uh, basically what your topic is, but also need to know that your, uh, your charity is a 501c3 nonprofit and we'll get you a date. It's once a month, you know, and I think it's, uh, it's really cool. Matter of fact, next month, as we mentioned on the 21st, we're going to have Trev, the shipping guru. It's going to be Wednesday the 21st at 9 PM Eastern, 8 uh, PM central. Uh, so make sure you show up for Trev. Um, we won't, we, we won't disclose his topic or his uh, charity as of yet, but, uh, that's something we could look forward to next month. So if you want to be part of it, send me a DM and we'll uh, converse and we'll get it straight. The other thing is my, my, um, <laughs> you know, as soon that's as I was late. able, <laughs> as soon as I was able to, uh, when I got the number of subscribers and hours and so forth, really wasn't going to do any kind of membership, but, you know, taking a hint from like Rob Fatstacks and I was involved with him this year and, you know, doing uh, mystery box, mystery boxes for charity for two years before that, you know, I thought, why don't we do a, you know, kind of a, um, a membership where all the money that comes in uh, from the channel or from the merch store will go to charity. And so I want to highlight the uh, members that we have here. All right, so these are the channel members, and thank you. You're supporting St. Jude's Research Hospital for Children with Cancer and the Tunnel to Towers Foundation, which helps uh, Gold Star families, uh, families of uh, deceased firemen and policemen, uh, homeless veterans, and veterans that have been, um, uh, you know, uh, hurt and need some help with um, homes that will be more inducive to whatever their disability happens to be. So we have Tina Carrison. Thank you, Tina. We have uh, Dead Man Terrence from uh, England, Mark Andrews, our own Professor Chuck Henze. We have Trev, the shipping guru. Thank you. Gary B, the casual commerce guy. You see Gary? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to, I took Gary's name off accidentally the last time. We have <laughs> Phil, Phil Tastic's Comics and Art. So Phil, thank you. Brian LCS. We have Naman, uh, the comic bookworm. Richard Veith, Pretty Fly. For a Filipino guy, Rob Fatstacks himself, Cliff on Comics, and Milk Miller. So thank you again for supporting. It's a buck ninety nine. If anybody's interested in helping out these charities, I don't keep any of the money. So just you know, at the bottom, click join, uh, sign up, and I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, so Phil, you already got a kind of a quick view. Question number five, which for some reason I put down as question number four. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but I guess I screwed it up, right? Um, but anyway, I'm changing it now. So it says question number five, at least on, on the bottom there, but I can't change the, uh, the video. So here you go. You got $20 for your charity, all right, for Nanny. But if you get this one right, the $25 will become $50. So it's a significant, significant question, all right? So, uh, uh, Dr. Doug, I believe you're the one doing this one, right? Yes. And I was going to say, see if, if I get Phil, it right, <laughs> if Phil was paying close attention, well, hold on, man, I'm, I'm getting really minutes. confused with these. So I want to make sure I get these right. <laughs> I think I got it right this time. So it'll say five, but I think this is, I mean, it'll say four, but I think this is the right one. It's okay. all good, Joe. All right, Phil drum roll question four, AKA five. Name the writer and artist duo of the first Wolverine solo limited comic book series. That was art was Frank Miller. Mm -hmm. And writing. What are you writing? He did the writing too. Am I wrong? He was a famous X Men writer. Oh, I'll Chris give Claremont. You that hint. <laughs> Is that your final answer? Yes. All right, let's see. Drum roll. 
correct. You got it. You got to be nervous for a second. <laughs> so and congratulations. Thank you. Doug, you I got the hear $50 you dollars for NAMI. You know. No, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't realize the congratulations graphic was going to pop up. <laughs> congratulations. I just wanted to add that the yeah. first Wolverine solo series was a four issue limited series. And it was Marvel's second ever limited series written by, as you guessed correctly, Chris Claremont with pencils by Frank Miller inks by Joe Rubenstein and Marvel comics published the steer series in 1982 cover dated for September from September to December. So everybody's cool. congratulating you, Phil. Good job, Thanks, everybody. <laughs> hey, Taylor. So way to go, so Doctor. Now, now, what made Doctor Phil? Go ahead, <laughs> Doctor Phil. Doctor Phil is correct. So, what made you such a big uh, Wolverine fan? Um, yeah, you know, it's kind of interesting. We were touching on it a little bit yesterday on Gary's show. Um, when I was a kid, at first I thought Wolverine was dumb. I was huge into Ninja Turtles. Uh, and I think the first time I actually saw Wolverine was on a poster for Fall of the Mutants. And I kept thinking, this looks dumb. It looks, what is that, his haircut? That's weird. <laughs> and uh, I really think I, what sucked me in more was the animated series. And from there, you know, look, I was like 13, 14 at the time. You have a character who purely pretty much was working on instinct at that time. And I mean, when you're 13, 14, that's pretty much what you're doing <laughs> in a sense of the word. And I think it was just, he had the ability to go out there, get beat up, blown up, stabbed, torn apart, and three times over, and then just be back to normal again, so to speak. But um, I mean, as an adult, I feel like I kind of grew with the character. He's definitely not what he was. Instead, I feel like um, since Origin, he's taken on more of kind of the father or kind of mentor role. So I think that's what pulled me in, and that's what kind of stuck me to it. It's kind of funny because one of the um, one of the questions you mentioned, like his ability to kind of regenerate. What was one of the questions? These guys come up with a question. Who was the? What did was it? What did Magneto do to Wolverine that would have killed just about anybody else? But Wolverine, you know, made it back from. I'm paraphrasing. You know what that is? Yeah, tore a skeleton out. Right, it took the Adam, yeah, took a skeleton yeah. out, which I could never understand. I could never understand. That. <laughs> but yeah. you know, we pulled out the admin. What is it? Ad adamantium. Adamantium, right? You pulled mm -hmm. that out, and so the whole skeleton came out. And uh, so, what did he do? Did he just slump into like skin or something like? I mean, what the hell? Happened at that well, point? Oh, you have. Wait, do you have? I know you have the DC app. Do you have the Marvel Unlimited app? No, I do not. Oh, so you got to check it out there. Um, Basically, and Magneto was super powered at the time. This was the climax of the Fatal Attraction storyline. Um, it looked like he kind of pulled it out of Wolverine's pores. Right. And um, what was kind of interesting is that from that point on, it was supposed to be a story that only was supposed to last a couple issues. But that's where you, you really kind of learn that those claws are bone. Because Wolverine in the danger room later on went to pop them and that popped out and his healing factor, I remember, was affected for uh, a period of time. But that was some of the more interesting Wolverine stories because you saw, even though he didn't have the metal anymore, he was still trying to go toe to toe with Juggernaut and his bones would get shattered and everything like that. And um, mm -hmm. there was actually a great story where he faced off with my favorite, and in my opinion, underrated Wolverine villain, uh, Cyber. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the Wolverine character, but, you know, I'm the whole idea of uh, anachronic comics is that I am chronologically out of place, chronologically. So I always go back to the 60s and the set and the early 70s. That's kind of, you know, my idea. And then, you know, Wolverine didn't exist in those times, you know, so it's uh, mm. so he's not in my uh, in, in, in my wheelhouse. So to speak. <laughs> Well, anytime you want to go to the Fantastic College of Wolverine show, <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a scholarship. 
<laughs> All right. So we've got fifty dollars and um, for uh, Nami, and uh, Phil is um, matching it. So that means there's, no, there's going to be a hundred dollars sent to Nami to help them out um, with okay. their uh, with their good work that's there. Okay. Yeah. So um, again, great uh, great attempt. So Phil, we're going to add you to our doctors list. Our doctor list. You, you, so you have your doctor of pathology. Congratulations. Now your wife is going to have to treat you better. Tell her I Here, wait, let me tell her. <laughs> Honey, I'm now a doctor of comics. So oh, wow. call your mom. Tell her I want to be referred to as doctor. Yes. And I won't answer yes. anything else. You too, buddy. I told my son he's got a call. <laughs> Go for it, Phil. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so Phil, oh, I yeah, forgot. Yeah. Let me make you big again. So, you have something really significant going on with your, uh, you know, on your ch on your channel. So, what's that all about? Yeah. So, um, I think like any any of us who have a YouTube channel, we want to feel like we're not just talking to ourselves in our basements, or in my case, in my living room. Um, so, I decided, you know, my channel's been around for almost three years now. I really need to step it up with massive growth without you know, neglecting some of the other things going on, like children, for example. <laughs> um, so uh, even though I'm only at 330 subscribers as of today, I have started the hashtag road to 1K giveaway. Uh, every week on my live show, which I don't have this week, um, <laughs> I will uh, I announce different chances and whatnot or little activities you could do to gain an entry into this contest. And uh, with each week, I'll put in at least one comic trade paperback or, or comic book related item. And then mm -hmm. when we finally hit 1K, we are going to have, uh, a, I don't know if it's going to be something as simple as picking the name out of the entries or knowing me, I'll probably make it needlessly complicated. And uh, somebody will win a big box of comics and or comic related stuff. Wow. Yeah. You need you need the Brian LCS to help you do a, a duck race, I think, or what have you. Let me tell you something. Whenever I'm watching Breakfast with Brian, and my son is in the room, if there's a duck race, he will sit there and stare and laugh <laughs> like a minute. Quack, quack. I do the quack. same. <laughs> <laughs> so so how does so how do people uh, you know what do you do or, or what what do we need to do to be able to be part of this thing? Well. Um, every week, th there's one activity you could do that's continual throughout the contest. If you have friends or a friend or people who watch you on YouTube who are not subscribers of mine, tell them to come to the channel, subscribe and comment, hey, um, Gary sent me, Doug sent me, Chuck sent me, and both the new subscriber and the person who referred them will get an entry. Um, however, like I said, I like to have different little kind of activities you can do each week. Um, for this week, if you watched my appearance on Gary B's channel last night, I gave out a password. I'm going to give out a password tonight in just a moment as well. So then if you take both of those passwords, go back to my uh, update 2.5 video, which was just on Wednesday. Uh, mm -hmm. And you comment with both passwords and hashtag road to 1K, you will get an entry. Okay. What's the password here? The password for tonight is hashtag peace. Okay. And it's, so again, uh, running, it's running along the bottom of the screen. So people can right. copy it down. Hashtag peace. So you need so, so that means I have to go back because I was out last night at a play. So now that means I have to go back and watch you on Gary. Exactly. You have to go back and watch Gary's show to get the other password and then go back to mine with hashtag peace, hashtag Gary's password and hashtag road to 1K. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Travis is here. Hi, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we can do that. All right. And it seems like it's a pretty, you know, nice prize to be able to get. So, I, you know, so that's that's great. So good luck on that. And I'll certainly try to get some people to, uh, to subscribe to your to your channel, that's for sure. All right, so uh, let's go around the uh, horn and see what else is coming up for everybody. Uh, Chuck, I think you're next. Anything coming up? Yeah, I'm going to be on uh, Only Slabs tomorrow with um, with Rob and the guys, and that's going to oh, be nice. a lot of fun. So uh, look forward to seeing people there, and uh, we've got some great stuff we're going to show. I'm going to have to watch that on replay also. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
but I will, but I will. That's for sure. Doug. Well, if you're watching this live, then tomorrow, Saturday, I'll be at Dewey's Comic City. They're mm -hmm. having their grand reopening in Madison. So I heard. I'm just going to support <clears throat> them. They've held uh, signings for isola isolation in the past, hopefully in the future. Um, so I'll be there. And I don't have a date, um, but I think in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be on uh, Reggie's um, Comics Today show uh, he did a video updating uh, some of the kind of progress of some of the um, Blue Ocean books we identified a little over a year ago. And we're supposed to have a follow up conversation um, about that and probably about some of the the other comics we identified. So uh, I'll once I know that information, I'll I'll, I'll post uh, uh, I'll, I'll post it on my Instagram and Seth, as soon as I have an update that I'm allowed to share, trust me, I, I'm itching. I, I'm, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm below a publisher, and I have to wait for permission to share certain things. So, uh, Paul, oh, yes, uh, <laughs> Phil is now Doctor Phil, not the one on TV, but yeah. is on. He no. got all five correct, <laughs> so he's he's in. He's in. So, uh, all right, so that's great, Doug. Uh, actually, you know, a friend of mine, uh, Dave, who um, um, lived in, uh, actually, he, he he knew the prior owner of Dewey's. He knows the current owner of Dewey's. As a matter of fact, he gave, he now moved out of his house to a place, a smaller place in southern New Jersey. And he comes down here to Naples. Uh, his name is Dave, and I, uh, I got to know him pretty well. As a matter of fact, I had espresso with him today, uh, and we yeah. kind of caught up a little bit. Uh, apparently he gave all of his trades to, uh, to Dewey's and there was such good shape. He says, he didn't know whether he should sell them as new or used because <laughs> he doesn't have room for them anymore. He had this great big comic book collection. And as he moved to smaller places, he kept on getting rid of them. So now he has nothing, but he's working on some interesting, he's a very knowledgeable guy. He's working on some interesting things. And I might, depending on how it works, we're talking about it today. We might get him on the channel. Um, he's a big Batman fan. And he's got some interesting things that he's been doing on his own with Batman. So uh, we might uh, uh, we might put him on the channel and see if we can get that into some sort of video, into maybe a series of videos, you know. Gary B, what's coming up for you, my friend? All right. So next week on Tuesday, we have Carrie from Officially Unofficial uh, Geek coming on the 10 one for her second appearance. Then Thursday, we have Bobby De Ghetto coming on for his second appearance. Okay. And then the Tuesday after that, we have Phil Tastic back on for his 10 one one appearance. What? So, My first 10 one one. Yeah. Oh, your first 10 one one? Yes. Yeah. 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 Like some people where they do something like, you know, you know, uh, 33, you know, five, three or something like that. I don't know who did that, but that was annoying. So don't do that. <laughs> And no. well, you know, we mentioned that Wolverine was the second miniseries. If any of you out there are wondering what the first miniseries from Marvel was, it was Contest of Champions. Yes, that's right. That's right. It was Contest of Champions. Uh, Phil, yes, it is tomorrow at Dewey's, you know, Saturday. Yeah. Paul, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're having a bunch of uh, artists signing from, I think, 1 to 4 p.m. It opens at 10 a.m., but there's going to be some cool signers uh in the afternoon yeah yeah that's I cool think you if i was in the new york area i think because i always wanted to go there and now with the new store you know reopening would have been a perfect time to go but i have to make my way down i think when dave comes but goes back up north um he has actually a group of people on wednesdays that talk sports and comics and um at a bar i don't know why it's at a bar i mean i you know but I might go and meet him there <laughs> <laughs> and uh, catch some of the people too, you know? All right. So, and, and for me, um, I've been so busy down here. Uh, I don't have anything prepped, but I'm going to try to get one uh, recorded video out next week. I'm working on a couple. I'm not sure which one it's going to be, so I can't divulge it, but uh, we do have a comic book crowd show on Friday night, which is set up. And we're going to be talking about the NCU, you know, the uh, problems, why it's, it doesn't seem to be doing as well as it did earlier, and um, how to fix it. And um, uh, Jackson Roykirk is going to be uh, 
on there, one of the people that are going to be on there. Um, I forget who else. Anybody else? Chuck, are you going to be on it? I forget who else is going to be on it. I should have looked it up. Not but yet. Why not? <laughs> Jackson is going to be on. And we're trying to get Jackson to show his face. So I think Jackson <laughs> is here. So everybody should say, Jackson, you got to go on, show your face so we can see you. It's the comic book crowd for Pete's sakes, you know? <laughs> so uh, hopefully he'll show up and we'll do that. So, you know, I think this was great. Again, uh, Dr. Phil, should it be Dr. Phil or Dr. Phil Tastic? What do you prefer? You know what? I, I'm going to decide, but I think for now, just everybody should just say both. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. here's what I want you to do, though, Dr. Phil. Uh, I want you to know what happens after you get off with your wife and your mother-in-law. I'd like to know what their reaction is going to be. All right. I'm going to text my mom, too. I'm sure that, that she'll be thrilled <laughs> if, if she's not watching this already. I don't know. Oh, man. All right. Well, with that, I want to thank the professors. I want to thank our applicant and new doctor of comicsology, Phil Tastic Comics and Art. Everybody in the chat, uh, this is usually a shorter show, guys. So you got to get here when it starts, you know? And I see some people coming in now at the 30 minute mark, the 25 minute mark. It's basically most of it's over at that time. All right. <laughs> so the next one is, as I mentioned before, and I'll bring it back up again. Let me get it. Uh, here for a second. Give me a sec. The next one is going to be on Wednesday, the 21st of February. We do it once a month. And we're going to have Trev, the shipping guru. That's going to be at 9 p.m. on that Wednesday. All right. So um, we try to, again, if you want to be part of it, DM me on Instagram. We try to pick a day and a time that you can make it. So I, I know it's better to have it at one particular day and time. But with this, we're giving money away to charity. And so we want to make it easy on the applicant. All right. Mm -hmm. So with that, I want to thank everybody that showed up. I, uh, I mean, you guys are terrific. I think it's, uh, uh, this is something I've been thinking about doing for a long time. I'm glad it's working out. It's kind of fun to, you know, get into the characters, even some that I don't know that well. So, uh, again, thanks everybody. Take care and we'll see you again soon. Thanks, Have a good everyone. night. Good night.